See? I told you. Right there. Whoa. Are you sure they didn't just change the date? No. It came out two days before that pig was found in the library. This thing is right every time. Maybe I should ask the Crystal Blog if I'm ever going to get Haley to like me. Uh, I don't think it works like that. Sammy, you bought everything Haley could want. Straight A's and an incredible resemblance to Ed Sheeran. A rich dad. True that. I want people to like me for who I am. Seriously? Oh well, I tried. You should tell her a story. Everybody loves your stories. Yeah, like that time when your cat puked in the lunchbox. That was hilarious. Tell her that. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, everybody. What the heck? We were talking about her, and she's right there. That kind of coincidence only happens in amateur films. Yeah, I hate it when movies do that. It's so predictable, and then there's always the sidekick who says- Sammy, this is your chance. You can do it. Haley is like a comet. She's shooting across your sky. And all you have to do is reach out for her. It's now or never. I don't know. Show her who you really are. Tell her a story. Cat puke? Cat puke. Hi. Hi. So, uh, what you talking about? Amber was just showing us a picture of her dog, Louie. He's so cute, but not as cute as my cat, Tristan. Who names a cat Tristan? You have a cat? I have this great story about a cat. You see, one day my dad was packing my lunch, and... Ah, yeah, well... We better get going. I don't want to be late for my orthodontist appointment. Uh, when's your orthodontist appointment? Tomorrow. Now or never. Wait, you go to the orthodontist? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, what a coincidence. I know someone else that goes to the orthodontist. So? I have this great story about her. I call it Jaws. The retainer returns. Is he for real? Seriously, it's totally epic. Sit down, give me five minutes. If you don't like it, you can leave. Okay, so her name was Alex. It all started when her parents went on an overnight trip and left her home alone. Are you sure they're gone the whole weekend? Yeah, I saw them drive out. They had all their skis on the roof of their car. I love rich people, and I know for a fact that these rich people keep their money in a box on their kitchen counter. Ha! Can you believe that? Hurt it up, will ya, and quit being such a klutz. Don't rush me. You're the reason we're doing this in the first place. I'm like, Creative Commons music is fine for a video project, and you're all like, no way, it's Bieber or nothing. So you uploaded our video with Despacito on it to YouTube, and who called us the next day? Justin Bieber's lawyers. Speak up! Justin Bieber's lawyers. And what do they want? $25,000. Louder? $25,000. $25,000. Some of which we are about to get right now if you will quit bothering me. 
Is it too late now to say sorry? Uh, the stupid thing is impossible and I'm exhausted. Huh, what do you know? It was open all along. This is bad, but we've got to get that money. They don't have cats here, do they? I don't think so. Why? I'm allergic to cats. All right, you stay here and keep an eye on the door. I'm going in. Maybe she'll roll back over. Oh, okay. Just stay calm, little girl, and no one will get hurt. Did you just call me little girl? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm older than you. Look, all we want is the money. Now let us through, and we'll be on our way. This is my house. I have to defend it. I warned you. Put your hands in the air. <laughs> or what? <laughs> You'll get my hair wet? Dang it. She saw right through us. Now what? Well, there's one of her and how many of us? Two. That means we outnumber her. Let's just take it. Stay back. I'm warning you. We're taking that money and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, really? Not even this? She's smart. Very smart. We need to split up. You distract her and I'll sneak her out back. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. We're not so bad. Let's just shake hands and make up. What do you say? Yeah, okay. I'll shake hands, but first, I want to show you something really cool. Sweet! I love cool things. Wait for me! What's so cool? Open the door and you'll find out. Look down, stupid. to this anymore. I want to leave. Right now. What's your deal? She's afraid of chickens. Wait, wait, wait. We haven't even gotten to the best part of the story yet. Don't you want to find out what happened? No. I can guess what happened. The thieves were stupid and left without stealing anything. Wrong. They found the money box? They took the box but left the money? Well, that's the thing. When Alex got back to the kitchen, the thieves were gone, but the money was still there. Told you. But something very important was missing. 
So Alex went to ask for help from some of her best friends. Harmonia, thank you so much for letting me come over. Harmonia, Runa, Lon, you are the best friends anyone could ask for. I can't believe they broke into your house. Were they nargles? Are you daft? Did they take your money? Your computer? No. They took... They took... My retainer! Uh, really? Why? Lon, it's not just any retainer. You see, my retainer was a family heirloom. I bet they're nargles. Are you mental? An heirloom? Uh-huh. Passed down from generation to generation for as long as anyone can remember. Did you, uh, use it? Uh-huh. Ew! Oh, funny, baby. Are you? It's my alert tone. Either Noggles are approaching or... Ah, yes. It's another prediction post from the Crystal Block. What does it say? It's just a headline. Precious heirloom found on campus. My retainer! It's got to be! Hey, if we go to school, maybe we can find it. Captain Obvious speaks again. Come on, Alex, get your broom. We'll go with you. is going to end up on campus, but where it is now is a mystery. And a mystery is like a secret. So we should go to the chamber of... Nargles? We should go to the chamber of... Secrets! There's only one problem. What? Look. It's Draco Bellboy and his one-celled cronies. Well, look who it is. I thought I told you miserable dragon bogies to stay out of my hallway. That's it. I've had enough of those Slytherin idiots. I'm going to take them down right now. Don't do it, Alex. You'll get us killed. Or worse, in-school suspension and work detail with Mr. Neal. <sighs> You're right, but... The Chamber of Secrets is at the other end of that hallway. If I had my owl, I could send a message for help. You know, there's an app for that. Really? Yeah! Oh, Edsby, you're the best. Now listen carefully, because we have a problem, and we need your help. Okay. Now fly as quickly as you can and make sure there are no Nargles within three kilometers of here. Okay. You know what, Alex Potter? You need some new friends, some better friends. Let me introduce you to some of mine. D, dumb? Yeah. Show these worthless wizards what you can do. Shake it. Don't break it. Shake it. Don't break it. No, you slug rats. What you can do to them. Oh, oh sorry. Don't worry, guys. I got this. With Guardium, with a toe. I don't get it. When Gotti 
um, is our tone. Stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's risotto, not risotto. You do it, Dave, if you're so clever. Go on. Wingardium risotto. <laughs> Wait, risotto? Is that the lunch in the cafeteria? We love risotto! D, dumb, lunchtime. Let's go. Wait, come back here! Worst henchman ever. Watch your step, Bonner. I'll be back. Thanks, guys. Now, to the Chamber of Secrets! same Alex Bosher, but there is no need. It's a simple standard to base my assessment on your condition. You're hoping to achieve something, but right now you're just beginning. You're right, Miss McGonagher Curtis. You see, my family heirloom has been stolen and we've got to get it back before my parents return. It's a big mess and we're trying to sort it out. Sort it out? Why didn't you say so? I've got just the thing. Well then, let me see now. Yes, yes. You are looking for a tall, thin man with a red and white striped shirt and red cap and round glasses. Waldo is a novel. No, wait! I take it back. You are looking for a retainer! Yes, that's it! I see it all now. The two goblin doogies who took it were busted trying to steal from the lost and found in the high school. And that is where your heirloom lies. Okay, stop. This story really reminds me of something. I just can't place it. It reminds me of watching paint dry. Boring. I don't get why the hat was talking. Haley, do you want to come to my house and watch Riverdale? Haley, wait. Do you... Do you think maybe you might want to, to, oh, never mind. I told you, you should have gone with the cat puke. No way. Dude, you're killing it in there. Just don't give up. One more part of the story and they'll be fighting over you. By the way, do you mind if I ask out the loser? Haley, would you just listen to one more part of the story? Do I have a choice? Alex now knew where the retainer was, but the high school was a scary place, and getting there from the middle school would be nothing less than an epic quest. So she decided to sit down alone in a classroom and eat? It doesn't matter how busy you are, lunch is sacred. Besides, she wasn't alone for long. Glandorf, it's so good to see you, my old friend. I'm only two and a half months older than you, but whatever. Your timing is perfect. I think I'm in need of your help. A student council president is never late, nor is she early. She arrives precisely when she needs to. I knew you would be needing some help, so I brought some friends. <laughs>
Fair lady, we know what it's like to lose an heirloom. We will stand by you on your quest for its return. We will accompany you through the ogre-infested hallways and past the lair of the Midnight Tanuki and the spider-infested field of the Middle Earth School and all the way to the dark, lonely mountain known as High School. Can I go to the bathroom first? And so, the party set out on its long and dangerous quest to the high school lost and found. Their adventures were too many to tell all of them, but here's one example. No! How could this be? I thought the last of their kind left this region semesters ago! What is it, Grandorf? A, a troll? A, a white walker? Wrong movie. No! Worse! A math teacher! <laughs> Bombadil. Come closer so I can see you. Have you seen your report card? N not yet, Miss Bombadil. If you don't get your act together soon, you, you shall not, not pass! <laughs> the travelers marched on. But for a variety of reasons, like science test do-overs, piano lessons, and in the case of Kevin, a bathroom break from which he never returned, Alex gradually found herself alone. Now hand it over! 
Golly kept her promise, telling Alex the location of the lost and found, and then quickly disappearing. Who dares enter the lair of Hog the Great? Worm of the high school and protector of all that is lost. Uh, Alex, the normal, girl of the middle school and searcher for the missing retainer. Why do you disturb my nap? I think it might be in there. Who? Hey, do you know nothing of dragons? Everything in this box belongs to me. The only way to get it back is to defeat me in battle. If you win, you take what you want. When I win, I eat you for lunch. Wow, twice in one day. High school really is tough. So, do I at least get a sword or something? No sword, but you may use anything from the lost and found except for the thing you seek. Outside, it sparkles in the sunlight. <laughs> what? I find it soothing. You've heard enough, right? You want me to stop? All right, I get it. Come on, guys, let's go. Wait, wait, I don't get it. What was the deal with the lost and found chick? Yeah, and so like, were those actually middle school students with beards? I know, right? And where can I get one of those fidget spinny things? I think what everyone is trying to say is that we might be able to stay just for a little more. But I have a question myself. Why would a retainer be an heirloom? Where did it come from? Well. I'm glad you asked. You see, thousands and thousands of years ago, there was an ancient kingdom known as Mustangistan. Mustangistan was ruled by a powerful oracle who could see the future. One day, he received a visit from the princess of the neighboring kingdom of Over by Tantium. Oh, princess, what an honor for us to have you visit our humble castle. His words were formal, but in his heart, it was love at first sight. Oh, great oracle, I have dreamed so long about this day. Uh, so have I. Oracle, I have come here to ask for a hand in marriage. Um, yeah, can I just think about it for a few days? Typical male, running away if everything isn't perfect. Hang on, give the guy a chance. 
The oracle wasn't as shallow as you might think. He wanted to help her and marry her. So he had the best craftsmen create all kinds of contraptions to fix her teeth. Some were useless and some were downright dangerous. Finally, he knew that this was a job he had to do himself. So using his most powerful magic, he created the retainer. It was such a thing of beauty, he knew it deserved a protective box. This he also created with magic. He called it the Retainer Container. Its magic is just as powerful as the retainer itself. When the two are together, there's nothing you can't do. Oh, thank you, Orko. And now, will you marry me? <sighs> he said yes, and they actually did live happily ever after. The Oracle had a huge temple built, and the sacred retainer was stored there. Thousands of years passed, and the retainer and temple were lost to the sands of history. They became nothing but rumors until the early 1900s, when a famous archaeologist set out to recover the lost retainer. She was the most fearless adventurer of her day. Armed with nothing but her faithful Ken Dama, she would go places no one else dared. They called her Rhode Island Suzuki. Sidekick! Nice for you to finally show up. I'm sorry, Dr. Suzuki. I went to the wrong lost forgotten ancient temple. Hey, by the way, what is this place? It doesn't look like any ancient temple I've ever seen. You're right, Saiki. The oracle that built this place was able to see the future. He built it to look like a scary place in the future called a school. I don't like the looks of this, Dr. Suzuki. Let's go home and eat pizza. Pour yourself together, sidekick. Deep within the bowels of this place are the legendary Lost Retainer and the Retainer Container. You and I are going to find them. Oh, I knew I should have stayed home today. Thank you. 
What? Hundred yen. <laughs> to get another sidekick. So what happened? Did she make it? Did she find the retainer container? She made it. The retainer stayed in Rhode Island's family and was passed down from generation to generation. The Suzuki's were known for having the straightest teeth in the world. There were rumors about the retainer container and its future telling power, but Rhode Island was never able to find it. Whoa. I don't get it. Why did she have a kendama? So did Axe ever get the retainer back? Well, that's the last part of the story. Do you want to hear it? Yes, we want to hear it. I want to hear it. Hog the dragon had left with the fidget spinner, but the retainer was nowhere to be found. Alex, I knew I'd find you here. The Alexo Finder 3000 is never wrong. Oh, hi, Doc. How's it going? How's it going? Well, the Earth's still spinning at 1,669.7916 kilometers per hour at the equator, if that's what you mean. But Alex, we have to go. Go where? To the science lab. Now come on, there's no time. Oh, hi Doc. I was just sampling some of your ancient cuisine. I tried a green one. I never thought eating bear meat would be this delicious. Alex, she's from the future. <laughs> Doc, do you really expect me to believe? It's true. I invented a time machine out of a DeLorean, but it crashed in the future, so we have to come back by shopping bike. I've come to the past, year present. I've come here to rescue Lobolia. Rescue? She's being held against her will. And it has something to do with the retainer. H how do you know? Georgie's last name is Botter. You mean... That's right. She's your descendant. This is Lavolia. Where are her feet? Well, the retainer and the retainer container are meant to be together. But in this timeline, they're not. And if we don't find them soon, poor Lavolia. And that's not all. This time machine only had enough energy to bring me here, and I need the retainer to bring me back home. But even if we find the retainer, no one knows what happened to the retainer container. We believe that Lavolia has discovered its location. Find her, find the container. Oh, sorry about that. It's just my crystal blog post. I love that site. Crystal blog? Doc, let me see that. Priceless heirloom found in dumpster. That's it. The retainer. What the heck? Uh, what's the matter, Botter? You got two right feet? Oh, hi, Biffy. You've been avoiding me, Botter? No, Biffy. I guess we just haven't bumped into each other yet. Yeah? Well, now we have. How's it feel? Just fabulous. So listen, there's a science test coming up on Tuesday. I'm thinking about passing this time. Why don't you give me the answers? <laughs> Biffy, I'm really in a hurry. <laughs> I gotta go. Not so fast. Aren't you forgetting something? Uh, is it your birthday? Duh. Hello? Anybody home? The science test? The answers? Oh, the answers to the science test. I thought you might be wanting those, so I actually got them. That's better, Botter. Now hand them over. 
Well, uh, it's a 20 question multiple choice test. A, B, C, and D. Answers 1 through 20 are C. Wait a minute. Let me write that down. C, 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 C. Okay, got it. Now scram, Butter. See ya! Wouldn't wanna be ya! How'd you get here so fast? I invented that doko de modua! What's that? Didn't you ever watch Doraemon? Uh. Never mind. We've gotta hurry. Look! Well, the crystal log predicted that the retainer will be found in the dumpster. This is it. Uh, ew. So, how do we get it out? Well, in the future, we have a term for it. I believe it's called dumpster diving. You mean go in there? Yuck. Well, I guess somebody has to do it. Um, uh, I'm, I'm allergic to garbage. Uh, uh, uh sorry, uh, I, I gotta take this. Hello? I would love nothing better than to extrapolate the coordinates of the retainer in the miasma of refuse contained in this receptacle, but look! test coming up soon too. I want you to give me the answers to that too. Now! Rhode Island! Impeccable timing as usual. What brings you around to 2019? Just passing through, Doc. Just passing through. Volunteering. He didn't lock me up. Although, he took away my temporal transmitter so I can't get back to the future. Who? The blogger. You see, I found it. I found the retainer container. The blogger had it all along, but it wasn't until I touched it that it started to predict the future. The blogger refused to give me back my temporal transmitter until he got one million likes on his blog. At first, I just touched it and predictions came out, but gradually I learned to control it. That's how I led you guys here. Now, we've got the retainer and the retainer container. That means that the order is restored to the universe and we can go home. I'm really going to miss you guys. I feel like we're best friends even though you're really my great, great, great grandkids or something. We'll miss you too. I just wish you could figure out why Lavolia's feet won't come back. I feel fine. Alex, quick! My calibrations won't last long! Insert the retainer into the flux incapacitators!
Ready? Three, two, one. Hit it! What a great story. So? Wow, Sammy, you really are a great storyteller. How did you come up with the idea? I told you, it really happened. No, seriously. I am serious. It's a true story. Sammy, be honest with me. I am! Come on, girls. Let's get out of here. I don't want to hang out with a liar. <laughs> Now, where are my gummy bears? Is this? Could it be? It's true? Oh, Sammy, I'm so sorry I called you a liar. Awesome! Look at great grandpa. <laughs> My feet are back. Thanks, great great grandma. Your teeth are